Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in for another episode. All I gotta say is, what a difference a day makes. I've been starting my prep for Lake Eufaula in Oklahoma. I've started rigging a bunch of rods, paying a lot of attention to the water conditions. Uh, Lake Eufaula in Oklahoma is one of those lakes that can be really clear or it could be really muddy. And up until this point, it's been pretty good in terms of uh, water clarity, water levels been decent. And I just happened to look and it's two feet high now. So there must have gotten a bunch of rain down there over the last couple of days. The problem I have with this is I'm sure it's gonna change conditions. And we're gonna check the deep dive app uh, I'm not sure if a lot of you are familiar with this, but they're starting to add water clarity. They get satellite images and they get up-to-date water clarity for the lakes. Uh, and I wish I had had that for uh, uh, Fish in Clark's Hill. You know, I talked to Johnny Schultz, who's behind the Deep Dive app, and I was like, man, I could have used your water clarity for, for Clark's Hill Lake because Clark's Hill had one creek would be muddy, you go to the next creek, it would be clear. You go to the next creek and it would be muddy and then clear in the middle and then muddy at the end. And it would have been really nice to have just pulled up the app and seen, you know, real quick where the clear water is, where the muddy water is, because that lake is massive and it just would have been a big help. And Lake Eufaula, they do have on the deep dive app. So I'm pretty excited about this because Lake Eufaula is a massive, massive fishery. It's known for getting a lot of muddy water, but I have a feeling if the weather stabilizes between now and then, you're gonna have some clear water areas in some creeks, you're gonna have some dirty water still, you're gonna have clear water starting to come in the backs of creeks because that clear water will push the mud out as, you know, as that clear water comes in from the creeks if there is not more rain. If they continue to have rain, it's probably gonna be a very, very, muddy fishing situation. And the issue with this is I started rigging up a lot of, not necessarily clear water baits, but more finesse type presentation because I knew the water for Lake follow was gonna be cleaner. You know, they've got some smallmouth in there, some giant smallmouth. So like I've got uh, jerk baits rigged. I've got definitely some crank baits rigged. I got drop shots, I got Ned rigs, things that could come into play if the water was still clear. Now, I'm gonna pull up the Deep Dive app. Let's do this together. I'll do a screenshot so that we can see what it looks like. I am feeling pretty confident it's gonna be muddy. So let's jump into the Deep Dive app here. We can select Lake Eufaula. And at this point, the initial screen takes us uh, to a bunch of different patterns that we can use. If we scroll through some of the patterns, it's going to be some of the things that we are already looking to do, you know, whether it's a crankbait, uh, flipping Texas rigs, or even I was hoping to throw a floating worm around some spawning locations. But I'm not sure how much of that's going to come into play now, because over the last couple of days, as we've talked about, it's come up uh, two feet or it's over two feet above full pool. And... One of the cool things with the deep dive app is we can go into the uh, aerial view where it gives us the water clarity. And as you can see, now the lake is almost all muddy. There are a few areas that are clean, but every one of the creeks coming in are pretty much straight mud, which is changing the game plan. Uh, the few areas that are clean, I'm guessing are probably going to be mud by the end of the week, just from the standpoint of they're going to push that clean water out and behind the clean water is, is mud. So, uh, it's definitely not looking good considering a few days ago on the water clarity of the deep dive app, uh, the lake was almost all clean. All right. So... I need to revamp some of my baits. After looking at this, I don't know that I'm going to be throwing much finesse stuff at all. I think we're going to go pretty much your pre-spawn, spawning type power fishing. We're probably going to have to dig out some coleslaw colored spinner baits, which I happen to have one laying here. I might see if I can dig one out with a red blade on it. 
probably going to have to pull out several crankbaits. I, mean, I got to revamp pretty much everything. I mean, not that I wasn't going to have some of this on, but I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to rig some stuff up for straight mud because if they continue to get rain and I have not checked the weather recently, but if they continue to get rain, it will be very, very muddy to the point where it's like that red clay mud, which is going to be really thick. So I, I'm going to have to revamp some of this stuff for sure. Uh, you're going to have some vibrating jigs, probably jigs. It's going to be one where, man, I don't know how that will affect the fish because if they start moving up and spawning, they should still be locked in the same areas. Uh, but it might be a, it might be a lower weight tournament if it's really muddy. Cause generally what happens is you don't get as many bites in the mud and the clear water tends to group up a lot of anglers. And when I say clear water, it's going to be clearer water. It's not going to be like you're sight fishing in these conditions. It might, you might have a foot of visibility versus zero visibility. So when that happens, you tend to get a bunch of boats grouping up in that better visibility water. It just seems like the fish are maybe a little bit more aggressive. Maybe it's they're able to come from further away to eat your bait. But the point is, it could become a very difficult fishing situation. And using that app, I'm going to be paying close attention to that from here on out through the tournament because May, it may only take a couple of days. I'm not familiar with Lake Ufala, but it may only take a couple of days for some of those areas to start clearing up. So to have that app is going to be uh, an advantage to me because if I can find an area that starts clearing up, even if that's in the tournament where, you know, maybe the day, the day two of the tournament, I take a look at the app and I start seeing that there's a certain area that's clearing up, those fish will tend to be more aggressive and it's potentially possible that they were left alone because they were in the mud during practice. But this is going to be one where I have 20 rigs out, you know, rods rigged up during practice. I'm going to have a little bit of everything, which is not really what I wanted to do in this situation. I, uh, I, I can't say I necessarily wanted to chase smallmouth because I don't think that's the plan that I want to do. But I definitely was going to think that more of a finesse approach could come into play. But in this case, I don't, if it's going to be muddy, I don't see that happening. Anyways, this is fishing. This is one of the exciting things about it. Uh, you gotta, you gotta move those pieces to your game as the conditions change. It's just one big game of chess. And in this case, I feel like I was throwing a curveball in the chess game already, even though we've got about a week and a half well, a week or so before practice starts, but this will be an interesting one. I'm not going to continue to give you updates on this because uh, I think it'll be interesting, not just for myself, but for you guys to kind of follow along to see if the conditions do change. And I'll show you the deep dive app. Uh, we'll do, I'll show you if to, the screenshot that so you can see if it's clearing up as well, but should be interesting to see what happens. I need another good tournament in this. If I could have another top 20, I'd be set up pretty good for the second half of the year. And that's the goal right now. So I'm going to get back to rigging some rods, grabbing some more baits off the wall. And uh, we'll see how many I end up with at the end of the day. But thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate all the continued support. If you enjoy my channel and you have not subscribed yet, please hit that subscriber button. Hit the like button if you like this video and stay tuned. A new video coming out tomorrow.